Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Um, glad you're here, glad I'm here. Hi, I'm Casey Durango of Go Keto with Casey, where I like to talk about how I've lost 97.4 pounds since starting the ketogenic protocol, how you may be able to lose weight, improve your health, and regain control of your life, like I did. Uh, today's topic is keto and me, about once every month or five weeks or so, I do a keto and me, highly personal. And frankly, all I can do is talk about my experience of the ketogenic protocol as I learned it and as I have practiced it low these many eight and a half years. So first of all, for those of you who don't know, the protocol as I've learned it and as I have practiced it is keep your carbohydrate intake to 20 grams or fewer a day, total carbs, not net carbs, Net carbs is just more carbs. If it's not on page four, link below. Don't eat it, but you don't even need a food list. Eat fatty sources of protein, handful of non-starchy vegetables before cooking, um, and full fat dairy in limited amounts. There are no minimum amounts of either full fat dairy or of vegetables. Please keep in mind, those are maximums, not minimums. And don't eat if you're not hungry. Stop when you're satiated, not stop when you're about to pop, but stop when you're satiated and have patience. So that last bit I added myself. So what has changed? Today's topic is, is tweaking, my making tweaks, uh, not twerking, for those of you who know what twerking is, but tweak. So what do you mean tweaking? Why, things do change. Why would they change? If that's the protocol, why would things change? Because we as people change. Now, I do want to say, by the way, before I jump in, I will talk for a few minutes that I'm going to turn my attention to the lovely people who show up here and comment and then, um, you know, field comments and questions and observations. So when I started this, I was large. I'm 5'1". So about 100 pounds on me is a lot of weight. I'm actually 115 and a half pounds off my heaviest. And as someone told me the other day, man, 5'1", there is no place to hide 115 pounds. And there was no place to hide it. During these YouTube live streams, I cannot show you. I can't share pictures. But if you go to my blog, you can see some photographs of me heavier. They're not my heaviest, but heavier. Even when my move more, eat less ultimate thing doing the summer of the triathlons link below. Everything is linked below, I hope. So when I started this, I'd given up on losing weight. I had tried. I did the summer of triathlons. I did the juicing. I did the low fat. I did the vegetarian. I did, and this is for 30 years. From my mid-20s to my mid-50s, I was overweight, obese, and morbidly obese varying stages of overweight. I gave up. Nothing's going to work. If <laughs> This is not going to work. So, But what happened was I didn't want to take insulin for type 2 diabetes, and I knew that was in my future based on family history and my rising blood glucose. So I knew my next checkup was going to be, okay, so we have to have a conversation. I didn't want to take insulin for type 2 diabetes. I've been diagnosed and treated for cancer three times in my life, starting when I was pregnant with our third child and throughout the next several years. That somehow was easier to take than the idea of taking insulin for diabetes. So that was my line in the sand. So Google how to not take insulin for type 2 diabetes, came across the white coat video of Dr. Eric Westman of Duke University, who I'm happy to say now is a, a pal. Uh, he's even referred to me as a colleague, which I find amazing. And it was just keep your carbs 20 grams or fewer a day total, not net. If it's not on page four, don't eat it. Don't eat if you're not hungry. So the next time I ate, I lay, laid off the carbs. It, I mean, I ate vegetables because they were on page four. And I, this is one of the first things I have to say that I started to tweak. So that was the first thing. So although I told myself for years, I know low carb works, but there's no way I can go the rest of my life without eating tortilla chips or deep dish pizza. And I told myself that, which was a lie. Last week, it was lies we tell ourselves. And somebody asked that I do a version of uh, a 
volume two or episode two of the lies we tell ourselves. And maybe I'll go back to that. But that was a lie I told myself. You know, the lies we tell ourselves are much more devastating than the lies somebody else tells us. So I just, you know, I ate the, I ate the food that was on page four. And I loved it. It was, it's like the opposite diet. It was like, you know, if you ever have ever seen the, the Bizarro World Seinfeld episode, you know, it was like Costanza doing the opposite of everything. I was the opposite diet. Yes, you can have ribeye and sour cream and blue cheese dressing and ranch dressing and butter and bacon and sausage and pork chops with the fat and poultry with the skin and eggs with the yolks. So I did that. One of the first tweaks or changes I needed to make was that after about a week or 10 days of enjoying all of that, you know, bacon cheeseburger without the bun, um, pizza toppings without the crust, and they're delicious. You put some shredded cheddar, some shredded mozzarella, some pepperoni, a little glop of Rayo's marinara sauce, put it under the broiler for 90 seconds, uh, eat it right off the sill pad. I couldn't eat that much food, which was a revelation to me. Someone who was so heavy and food had been so much a part of my life, my, not that, you know, I mean, inside in my internal life, thinking about food, anticipating food. What can I eat next? What will I eat next? And how do I hide the fact that I'm eating? I mean, this was all, you know, food, 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 food. That I, I could, I can't eat this much. So that was the first tweak. Now, the first week was laying off the carbs. The next week was, I can't eat this much food. It's too much food. It's too much. Um, and that's the wonderful part about the ketogenic protocol. It naturally suppresses not only hunger, it suppresses appetite. One of the reasons it works. I started burning fat for fuel. I felt better. So over the course of time, what were other tweaks? Mostly it was learning that I don't need as much food as I as we've been told. I heard from someone who said that they were working with a coach, but they 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 liked the coach, but they couldn't eat that much food. This coach was insisting that they eat at least X number of grams of this, this, and this, and at least this number of calories. Well, let me tell you what. If I followed what that coach was saying, I would put on weight, even though everything, even if the food was all on page four. I had to become comfortable with the idea that, you know what? I don't need as much food as I think. And why would that be? Well, I'm smaller for one thing. Every day that passes, I'm older. You know, happy to be there. Happy to be here. Um, body chemistry changes. Stage of life differences. I had to be comfortable. I had to unlearn some things. I had to tweak. No, no, no. I don't have to get in these, you know, I just don't have to believe what they say what all the food manufacturers say, and frankly, what a lot of the medical community has learned and has passed along. Another tweak, because I've tried it all, baby. I did it all. Even on keto, I did going for long periods of time. I experimented without eating. Mm. Hashtag Casey's Pink Drink. Tumbler full of ice. Diet tonic water, splash of diet cranberry, squeeze of lime. I'm asked about it every time. It's nice and tart. And when I'm talking a lot, it helps me. Anywho. So I tried that. Now, my tweak did not involve that. Let me say, whatever you're doing that works for you, if it is working for you, good. Keep it up. Many paths can lead to the same destination. For me, and I consider myself an every person. I am, I am probably very representative physiologically of the general population. You know, I'm not a special snowflake. I'm not, you know, I'm not mother superior of the keto world at all. I'm just a former fatty who learned how to listen to my body. I lost my train of thought, <laughs> which happens a lot. Squirrel, um, which happens. Listening to my body. Oh, 
you know, going for long periods of time without eating, that did not serve me well. I learned about myself that if I arbitrarily don't eat when I'm legit hungry, all I do is think about food. And I'm so happy to not think about food anymore, I can't tell you. Food is not the boss of me. By the way, there's a t-shirt that says that, or I'm stronger than a cookie. Today I'm wearing a t-shirt that says, I went keto with Casey. <laughs> you, their links are no longer showing below my videos. Uh, Spring and YouTube are trying to fix that. But the link to my Teespring shop is there. Food is not the boss of me. I'm stronger than a cookie. And if I arbitrarily don't eat when I'm actually hungry, all I do is think about food. And then I'm going to slingshot over the amount of food I really need to eat because I'm, I'm like, I, I, I can't wait to eat. So I don't do that. I don't follow the M word. Macros. Because the protocol just says keep your carbs low. Nothing else. It, if you just kind of listen to your hunger and you eat fatty sources of protein, nature kind of takes care of it. It all Nature does the math. Um. And the thing, the tweaks I've had to learn are that not every day is the same. Even, okay, so first of all, we are all not the same. So the amount of food I eat or don't eat is correct for me. I don't share all of my information about caloric intake or that. I'll, I'll have some videos that just show pictures of the food I eat for an idea. And most of them are cooked in one skillet at a time. But what's right for me is not going to be right for somebody else. Even if you're exactly my age, height, gender, everything else, we're different. And even what were, was correct for me when I started is not the same for me now. Things change. We tweak. Listen. Don't get stuck in, wait a minute, I did this five years ago. And it worked, and now I got away from it, and I'm doing exactly what I did five years ago. And what's what's happening? Does it not work the second time? Yeah, it absolutely works. But you have to adjust for your current situation. And you can't com you can, but I recommend not comparing yourself to anyone else's experience. We are all different. We tweak for us. Let them tweak for them or twerk if they're into twerking. Other changes I've made. I am not anti-vegetable, but I eat very few veg. I just don't eat that much. Um, uh, because I'm going to get my new, for one thing, the fatty sources of pro protein, very nutritious, nutrient dense. There's not that much nutrition in vegetables and fruit is just sugar. So fruit is not on page four. But because I eat less than I used to, I'm going to make sure that I'm eating the fatty sources of protein first. You know, some, some you know, factions spring up, you know, can't we all just get along? If you want to be a carnivore, great. If you want to be a carnivore that only eats locally sourced food, great. If you want to be a carnivore that only eats locally sourced food that has been absolutely, you know, great. If the best you can do is lay off the carbs. And that means I'm eating ground beef that was on sale with some shredded cheddar in it. Great. But I don't eat very many vegetables, not because I'm anti-veg, but because I don't require that many calories of energy. Why? Because I'm burning fat for fuel. I still have adipose tissue on my body. I'm older. I'm smaller and stage of life changes. Um, what else have I done? Okay. For me, exercise is not effective at fat burning. But a tweak I've done is, and I've been a little bit slack on it the last couple of weeks, is resistance training on my total gym. By the way, at the Go Keto with Casey Roadshow, link below which is October, the main event is October 9th, which is a Sunday in Greensboro. Uh, I'm going to bring my total gym. We will have feats of strength. People can try it out. This is one where the attendees are the stars. I'm very excited about hearing people's stories and sharing tips. And we're going to have 
feats of strength and fun and games and open. To, and some of my smart friends are going to be there. Uh, Jackie Eberstein, Eric Westman, and Amy Berger. But there will be no lectures, no presentations. You don't need to take notes unless you want to. You just and we're going to have a cookout. You get to, you know, you get to nosh with each other and, and with my smart friends. Anywho. So total gym, tweet, resistance training. Why is that for me to burn body fat? No, it's because I want to be strong. I want to have a good core. I want to be able to walk erect. However many days I have left of walking, I want to walk erect. I want to be able to literally pull my own weight. So, tweak. Exercise, you know, I used to go to the gym. I did all the triathlons. Even after keto, I, I belonged to a really great gym. And that, again, was not for burning body fat. It was for strength training. But then, total gym works for me. I might go back to the gym. I might get that membership back. Just because, you know, all those, that energy buzzing around. I don't know. I will, I'm going to say hello to some folks and then I want to hear your tweaks. So, uh, shameless commerce division, tip of the hat to the car tap, car talk guys. You do not need to buy one thing to be 100% successful. As a matter of fact, many products that are out there touting that they are keto are counterproductive, but I will sell you a mug. <laughs> Lay out the carbs, lay out the excuses, and t-shirts and water bottles. Again, link to my Teespring shop is below. And I don't have any more of the spiral books, but this is a 12-month journal that you can get with coloring pages and quotes and stuff. You can get it at Amazon. The link to that also at my blog. And here's a quote. I have a quote for Ralph. This is one I'm quoting myself. How tacky is that? Keto is simple, which is not to say it is easy. But just because it's easy doesn't mean you can't do it. Okay. I want to say hello and thank you to patrons, many of whom I already, I can see are here. I have a private Patreon support group or a private support group at Patreon where depending on your pledge level, you get 20 pre-recorded video snippets a month, suggestions made by the patrons as a rule. Up from there, you get that plus handful of patron only live streams on Crowdcast. Up from there, all of that plus a handful of patron only video group sessions on Zoom. And up from there, all of that plus one on ones with me. So thank you. Commercial over. Now, let me say hey. And I just jump in. Kathy Sieber. Close. I am 10 miles from Greenville Country Lady. Okay. So you guys must be talking to each other, which I really like. Vita Hamrick, please again, what is the wonderful coffee your sweet husband makes? I am going to make a video about that. So my husband, for those of you who are particularly patrons, because I make these video snippets like, you know, pillow hair and pre-coffee, and sometimes a coffee mug will be just slipped in front of the camera as I'm talking because my husband will have made it. I will make a video about it. But he was making so-called Dalgona coffee before it was a thing. And it's creamy coffee that he whips up. He makes like a coffee mousse and pours the hot water in. It's just delicious. Love the tree. Love the tea you have on today. Thank you, Denise. Yes. Okay. So t-shirt. I went keto with Casey. It's an avocado. This, for reference, is a women's sized small Zavina. I got one for my husband, a round neck. I think he took it to Columbia because he did go keto with me. Uh, Carol Dorothy writes, I'm the same with veggies. I'd rather eat meat. Sharon Wilde writes, I found myself eating a steak and having roasted asparagus for dessert. There we go. And Joni Sanchez, good morning, sunshine. Betty Lookabal, I eat mostly meat, very little veg. This went for me, it just, no pun intended, it, it went that way organically. I just, okay. I mean, at the beginning, when I started, I would have, I did, have to figure out, you know, I was overeating vegetables because we've been told that you're free, you know, eat unlimited amounts of vegetable, do it if it works for you. But that's almost all of my carbs would come from vegetables. So about a cup of non-starchy vegetables, this is before cooking, it's about the size of your fist and about two cups of leafy greens, maximum a day, 
not minimum, there's no minimum amount, will get you to about 10 or 12 carbs right there. Well, I was eating them, so I did have to learn that a half a plate of broccoli was not a was not correct, like three or four spears of broccoli. And I put butter and ranch dressing on it. Okay, there's a wildlife menagerie in my backyard. There are birds at the theater and a bunny chewing on clover, and a squirrel just came and chased the bunny off. Okay. And our chickens in the backyard. Um, the, I just, I enjoyed them. So cauliflower, broccoli, I like asparagus. Um, I like Brussels sprouts wrapped in bacon. Yum, yum, yum. But as I started eating less, I'm always going to default to the most nutrient dense part of the plate. And that is my sources of protein, be it eggs. We have lots of eggs or pork chops or poultry with the skin or chuck roast or, you know, organ meats. Love beef liver. Laura Hudson writes, hi from Nolens. No, Nola. Judy Tucker writes, I had to t- tweak my own medications when I was told I couldn't go off them from my healthcare doctor. Not, now I'm off over 10 medications. Let me read that again. Judy Tucker, who's lost 135 pounds. She's a farmer from Hopkinton, Iowa. I had to tweak my own medications when I was told I couldn't go off them from my healthcare doctor. Now I'm off over 10 different medications. That's a super tweak. D. Kaiser writes, 60 years old, keto since April, don't own a scale, so no clue on numbers and don't really care. Down from an XL to a medium size clothing and feeling like my old self again. We'll never go back to carbs. Congratulations. That's a great point. You don't need to scale is scale is maybe number seven, eight of other things you should be looking at. And if weighing yourself ruins your day, stop weighing yourself. There are enough potential things to ruin our day without us adding our own activity to it. Lisa Murphy, morning, new here. Hey, Kimmy Bradle. Good morning, USA. Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy from Germany. She's a patron and I am so happy to hear from you, Kimmy. Just me, 77. Squirrels are a nuisance. Eh, we've got some squirrel proof bird feeders. They really are squirrel proof and I highly recommend them. And so I, I don't mind, you know, the squirrels because they're not eating the bird seed. Um, and they live in the treetops and they're funny to see chasing each other. We did have a hawk that went after a squirrel in our backyard the other day. Ketovore way. I'm a carnivore diet for now to learn to eat when I'm hungry. This is, you know, learning to hear our body is very important. It, you know, when you're a sugar burner, your brain tells you to get more glucose because glucose can't be stored or shouldn't be stored and our brain burns through it quickly. But when we flip over to burning fat or ketones for fuel, our brain loves it and our brain doesn't have to call for, you know, it's, so it's not brain hunger anymore. Learning what actual hunger feels like is very important. And around Go Keto with Casey, we say push the peckishness. What does that mean? Peckish means, eh, and I'm peckish right now. I could eat. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to pass out. I'm not having intrusive thoughts of food. I prefer to be a little bit peckish. I, I prefer to wake up that way and push the peckishness until it's like, you know, okay, okay, okay. I'm peckish, peckish, peckish. It's been like two hours. Oh, now I'm going to eat because now I'm hungry. Betty Lugabaugh, Casey, I love all your videos. I watch them over and over again just to keep me on track. Well, thank you. Judy Porterfield, hello. I'm doing better with mostly meat and no veg too. My appetite has gone down and I'm having less inflammation and I've noticed more energy too. Yay, Judy. And Lisa Murphy, right? Southern California. And been strict two months, lost 28 pounds. Fantastic. Carol Dorothy, Judy Porterfield, amen. Me too. Michelle Doring, me too, Judy. Okay, Judy, everyone's agreeing with Judy. Sue Miller, you're an amazing help. Love your truthfulness. Thank you very much. And of course, it's my truth. Other people can share their truths. This is my experience. I do think that I'm pretty common. I think I think a lot of people physiologically are like me. Judy Tucker writes, Casey, I also lost another 15 pounds. So it is now 115 pounds, 150 pounds lost. Holy guacamole, Judy. 
amaze balls. Now, let me tell you what, Judy is, how old are you, Judy? I'm not going to share your age for you, although who cares how, uh, how old you are? Yeah, like um, Jamie Lee Curtis said, I'm sick of all this anti-aging stuff. I'm pro-aging. So, you know, she didn't do this in her 20s. And she's a farmer, a legit farmer. 150 pounds ago, I don't know how you did it, Judy. I hauled 25 pounds of chicken feed up to the chicken yard. And I'm like, oh my God, how am I carrying 25 pounds up this hill? Frankly, I don't know how I walked around 100 pounds ago. I don't know how I did it. Kim, Kimmy writes, Please, Casey, I need the basics again. I so lost it. Okay, Kimmy, keep your carbs 20 grams or fewer a day. Total, not net. If it's not on page four, don't eat it. But you don't even need a food list. Don't eat if you're not hungry, Kimmy. Stop when you're satiated and be patient. So, no strudel. You know, and, you know, Kimmy's in Germany and they might have... Foods that are carby, but every country and every culture does. I'm in the South. Not far from here, Krispy Kreme was invented. The first Krispy Kreme was, you know, however long ago that was, 60 years ago. Pepsi Cola was developed here. And now Biscuitville, which is fantastic. I mean, everything's biscuits and grits and potatoes. You can do it. Okay. I'm going to something. I'm seeing the tail end of a thing. Carol Dorothy writes I tend to wait all the way to dinner for true hunger. And guess what? The food tastes so much better. Taste satisfaction helps find fullness. I love that. Okay. Vita Hammer writes Thanks, Gissy. Can't wait for the video on the coffee. I just need to do it. I used to make, I need to make more videos, old school videos. I'm just, I can get. I get distracted. I'll be 70, writes Judy Tucker. And Judy, you started this, what, five years ago? So in your 60s? And you've lost 150 pounds? So don't let anybody tell you it's too late. Certainly don't let medical providers tell you. Lori Clark, congratulations. Judy, Shayla Johnson, want to be like Judy when I grow up. I'm 50. Next time you put food in your mouth, lay off the carbs. Um. Uh, things are moving quickly. Judy Porterfield, awesome Judy Tucker. You're an inspiration as well as Casey. Thank you, Judy Tucker. Almost five years keto started at 65. Lou Cottle, Cattle, Lou Cattle. Judy, way to be patient and consistent. Denise Anderson, will there be other events, a cruise? A cruise comes up a lot. Topic of a cruise. I had one Go Keto with Casey cruise. We were scheduled to have another one. And then, of course, lockdown. Um, so we'll have to see. It'll be fun. Can always get Westman on board for a cruise because he loves them. Dorothy, uh, Carol Dorothy writes, I would love some vlog type videos where you bring us through your day, your house, what you eat in a day. Uh, I'll tell you, well, I won't go through my house because, you know, Yeah, there's, you know, privacy. Um, and I've done what I eat in a day videos. And they're old. I don't share too many. But what I ate today, what I eat in a day, what we ate this week. So I have several of those. I've also, uh, Judy writes, I've also noticed my hunger gets later and later in the day. I actually forgot to eat sometimes. Loving that. So here's the thing. I'm not the same every day. So time-restricted eating and having a food window and only ever eat before or after or never after or before, that wouldn't work for me. Some days I have very little, I just, I'm satisfied with just not that much. Some days there almost is not enough food. So listen to your, we are not robots. And prescribing one solution for everybody is crazy to me. And Judy Tucker writes, Shayla, you can. This works. All right, friends. There is, in addition to the Go Keto with KC, and we've got people coming from Oregon, Florida, Ohio, Georgia, New Jersey, uh, to the Go Keto with KC Roadshow. I'm very excited. And I don't know how many people there will end up being, but however many it's going to be. And my husband will be the grill master. So we're all going to have 
lunch together. Um, the Durham support group meeting with Dr. Eric Westman and me in person at the Durham Hilton near Duke on Tuesday of this coming week. The Monday after that, go Keto with Casey meetup at Wine Styles in Greensboro. These are just free. Come, no, no products being sold, no capturing of emails, none of that. This is hanging out and answering questions. And by the way, there will be no products sold. Well, people, people make jewelry. I'm thinking that some of our attendees may, if they make candles and jewelry or stuff, I think that'd be great to have them come as little vendors, but no keto products. That's not what this is about. This is not signing up anybody for anything. This is camaraderie. Okie dokie, Judy Porterfield. I'm not good at that either, Casey, and not into to the F word. Okay, friends, thank you very much. I will see you next time. I'll try to get on making a video about my coffee. You can fan, find what I ate in a day videos and what we, a uh, uh, week's worth of food. There's some playlists on my channel. All right, thank you for allowing me to be part of your day. Keep your carbs 20 grams or fewer. Total, not net. Don't eat if you're not hungry. Stop when you're satiated and be patient. It works if you work it. Okay.